Hey kids, are you ready to keep learning about living things? Want to find out about the smallest groups of living things? Do you know what microorganisms are? They are living things so small that we can't see them with our eyes alone. We need a microscope to see them up close. Today, we will explore two groups of microorganisms fungi and bacteria but first let's play a game can you find where microorganisms might be can you spot where you can find six microorganisms one some microorganisms called viruses can cause diseases two we have bacteria in yogurt three in dead leaves, we have bacteria that make them decay. 4. Yeast in bread. 5. In uncooked food, like meat, we have some type of bacteria. 6. We have molds on fruit. Now, let's sortify these microorganisms into useful and harmful ones. In yogurt, it's useful. In uncooked food, it's harmful. Molds in fruits are harmful. The one that decayed plants or animals is useful. In bread, it's useful. And finally, if you get diseases from microorganisms, they are harmful. Fungi are a unique group of living organisms in their own kingdom, meaning they are not animals, plants, or bacteria. They are found everywhere on earth, in soil, water, air, and even inside plants and animals. Some types of fungi are mushrooms. These are the fruiting bodies of fungi. Some are safe to eat while others are poisonous. Molds. These often grow on old fruit, bread, and cheese and can look furry. Yeasts. These are single-celled fungi that help make bread rise. Fungi, like molds and mushrooms, grow from tiny reproductive units called spores, which are similar to seeds in plants but much smaller. Spores are as tiny dust-like seeds that fungi use to spread and grow. A single mushroom can release millions of spores into the air. Now let's talk about bacteria. Bacteria are tiny organisms found everywhere, on our skin, in our bodies, in the air, and in the soil. Some bacteria live in yogurt, which helps keep our stomachs healthy, while others live on our skin to protect us from bad germs. Both fungi and bacteria can be helpful and harmful. Helpful examples are molds and mushrooms decompose waste. Yeast helps with baking, and some bacteria aid digestion. Harmful ones. Some types cause infections or spoil food. But don't worry, we have antibiotics to fight harmful bacteria effectively. That's it from Science Nuggets. See you in the next video.